Time now for the evening rush. We begin with breaking news this evening. We are learning the New Mexico Rail Runner has struck a car and we are just now learning this is a fatal crash. Live look now at the crash. Officials with Rio Metro Regional Transit District say this is at the rail tracks near Candelaria. You can see police blocking off this entire section. No word on what exactly happened or how this could affect service. We will keep following, you, following this story and bring you an update at 10. The district attorney says a woman could be facing her original charges after getting a second chance. Why can't, Why can't you? Because I am intoxicated. In August of 2017, Yvonne Yukestein was charged with drunk driving and child abuse because her niece was in the car. All of it would be wiped from her record if she followed the rules of a state program. In January, though, she was terminated from the program because the DA's office says drugs and alcohol were found in her system. We are waiting to find out more about a deadly officer-involved shooting, including the suspect's identity and what led up to the shooting. Police say detectives were conducting a surveillance operation near Central and Zuni. They say an armed man went up to the detective's car. They say shots were then fired. The suspect died. The officer sustained minor injuries. Our next big weather maker doesn't arrive until this weekend, so we're going to be looking at clearing skies overnight for your 4th of July holiday. Majority of us will be clear with lots of sunshine, just a few isolated storms possible in our far eastern counties. Dean? Kristen, thank you. A man accused of shooting his neighbor now faces an open count of murder. Police say Christopher Tabor shot and killed his neighbor, Daniel Salazar, near 2nd and Candelaria after a fight over a barking dog. Tabor claims the two started arguing and Salazar shot at him first. Police say evidence shows that Tabor actually shot Salazar later while in a sniper-like position in his backyard. The city says it received more than 4,600 weed complaints since January, twice the number during the same period last year. A lot of them come from neighbors frustrated with yards like these where the weeds are so overgrown you can barely see the home. When a complaint comes in, the city issues two warnings before taking the homeowner to court. Rio Rancho Public Schools could begin drug testing student athletes for nicotine as early as the fall. The district says it's to combat the growing number of students using e-cigarettes and vaping. They're also boosting the suspension time for athletes from one game to 12 days. The more offenses that follow, the longer the suspension. Both Roswell firefighters injured in a fireworks explosion continue to recover. One of those firefighters, Hobie Bonham, got a special visit from former Governor Susana Martinez. Meanwhile, fellow firefighter Jeff Strobel continues to recover at a Lubbock hospital. Firefighters are working to fully contain the Pine Lodge fire in the Lincoln National Forest. The fire between Capitan and Roswell is now at nearly 14,800 acres and is 48 percent contained. Officials say the recent rain has helped the fire fight. So Zobra tickets will cost you a few extra dollars at the door. The Kiwanis Club of Santa Fe raised general admission to $15 for same-day tickets. Premium viewing prices also went up by 10% on the day of the event. The burning of the Zozobra is on August 30th. The city of Albuquerque says to leave fireworks to the professionals. Officials say Albuquerque Fire Rescue put out nearly 50 fires last year, some in the Bosque. They're asking people to check their fireworks, saying anything labeled warning is considered dangerous and illegal in the city. Legal fireworks are labeled caution. You can report illegal fireworks by calling 244-FIRE. Santa Fe National Forest officials anticipate thousands of visitors over the holiday weekend, and they say hotter, drier forest conditions have raised the risk of human-caused fires. They are reminding people that fireworks are always prohibited on federal land. They also say to never leave a campsite until your fire is out and cold to the touch. President Trump is sending a contradicting message about a citizenship question, asking people if they are a citizen. Reports said the Department of Commerce is dropping its quest to put the question on the census. The president calls those reports fake and incorrect. Metro threat index down to a one for tomorrow. The only thing that we'll have to contend with here in Albuquerque are those hot temperatures as we look to climb well into the 90s, 95 in downtown Albuquerque. Dean? Kristen, thank you. State officials are stepping up their inspections of products claiming to be made with New Mexico chili. Nearly 200 businesses are now registered with the state's Department of Agriculture as using verified New Mexico chili. There is no fine for violating the act but the Department of Agriculture can stop a sale of that product until it is certified. 
If you go to the New Mexico United shop, you will notice a new sign pointing the way. The sign in the shape of the United Shield went up today at the corner of Carlisle and was made to fit right in with the neighborhood's neon flare. The store sells everything you need to support United, including a mini shield decal you can add to your car. A rate increase proposed by XL Energy could boost customer bills in eastern New Mexico. If approved by the Public Regulation Commission, customer bills would increase by about $7.80 beginning mid-year next year. The energy company says it is to recover investments they have made. The state school for the blind is starting up flights again. They will be flying students to the Alamogordo School on Sunday and bring them home on Friday. They say it's to connect students and rural communities to the resources they need. This all comes about a decade after the flight stopped because of budget issues.